Ah, uh, what a beautiful day to stare at the back of a lighthouse. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like the lighthouse, but there needs to be some more things around the lighthouse. I think a custom tree would be nice, so I'm gonna gather a bunch of wood. Alright, if I want to be able to see it out of this window, then I think over there on that hill where that tree is would probably be a good spot. Yeah, this is it. This is the spot. Alright, let's make a tree. looking pretty good so far but I have run out of leaves so I'm gonna go collect more leaves and tidy things up and then I think it'll be done. <laughs> from the roof. Oh, look at her. Okay, so I think the last piece that's missing is a bit of light on the tree. It looks a little bit dark out there and it just does not match the lighthouse theme. It needs to have a little bit more light to it. I want to be able to see it at night and you know, I also would like to keep the mobs away without just having a bunch of torch spam. Spider, please cut it out. Thank you. So if I just add a couple chains and put some lanterns at the end of it, then hopefully that'll just give it a little extra something, make it seem like less of a natural tree and more like something that was intentionally kept here and taken care of. You know, like like kind of like having a a tire swing. You know, like that level of, I'm not going to say domesticating a tree because that doesn't really make sense, but just that idea of 
the tree is there intentionally and it could have been cut down but instead it's like it's being kept there on purpose to add to everything it's already looking so good okay i'm thinking probably two more chains although i only have four chains left so i might have to make some more because i do not think that four will be enough to um to add everything that i want but i can get three in maybe maybe save a bit more chains and make the third one a bit shorter but yeah um i'll i'll try i'll try adding the last one with two chains and then i'll probably have to make more chains all right let's see if it looks good like that after i just you know dot a few more lanterns around because i don't think i want to put any more in the trees but It's looking pretty good, but I, d I do think we need a couple more chains. <laughs> Just a couple. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a, a very linear looking line, which, I mean, I guess it, it goes with the, the terrain, I guess. It goes with the, the hill, is what I mean. But, yeah, it's a, I still want to add. Just a couple more chains. Need some iron. I already have some iron nuggets on me from the last chains. So if I just grab the two more and just run back up real quick. This will only take a second. Hello sheep. And I don't even need to pile up this time because the chains have been lowered a bit already. Okay, so that's that lantern in place. I think that that should be the tree done. Let's just, uh, let's just appreciate the improvement. So much better than just an empty piece of grass. So much better than the backside of a lighthouse for sure. This looks like such a nice little scene so far. I'd love to add some more terraforming and some paths and a bridge in the future. Hopefully, you know, I'll get some more buildings in here so then there will be other buildings to make paths to. Um, but yeah, this is, this is how it looks right now. This is my base. Okay, this tree was a nice little distraction episode, but Ultimately, this is a multiplayer server, and I would like to find some people, so I think now might be the time to take a boat and set off and just try to find other people, see where they might have set up. I think that next episode it would be really cool to see where other people are, maybe find the castle, maybe find Soup, because this is his server and I just have not seen him yet. Um, which is a little funny, but it is what it is. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode.